Hi guys, Isha this side and I hope you are doing really well. To start working with Power BI and Excel, you need to have your data. And a lot of times our data is lying in some database like SQL Server. So let's learn today how to extract data from SQL Server. And in case you also need to filter down your data, we'll learn that also. So let's get started. As shown on the screen, this is my SQL Server page. And I have pulled all my records from sales table. And what if I want to import this data in Power BI? So let's learn how we can do it. So this is my Power BI file. I'll go to get data, go to SQL Server. Then this window opens up. Just mention your server name. Let me copy it. Then you have to give database name, which is optional. My table has only 11 records, but there could be scenarios where you have millions of records and you want to filter down data. So in such a case, just go to Power BI file, click on this advanced options and write your SQL statement to filter down your results. So say my statement would be select star from sales table and I just want details for product ID greater than 2. So I will say filter it down using where command where product ID is greater than 2. In case you are writing a SQL statement here, then do give database name, which I'll copy it from here and just click on OK. So in SQL Server, if you see, you have 11 records, which got narrowed down to only six records where product ID is greater than two. As per your requirements, now you can go ahead and load or transform data for further analysis. Likewise, the same thing can be done in Excel. Let's quickly see that also. So this is my Excel file. Go to data, get data, get from database, from SQL server. And again, the same window opens up asking for your server name. Just mention your server name. I'll copy it. Database is optional. Just in case you are giving a SQL statement, then you need to give database name also. So my SQL statement is this. And my database name would be this. I'll copy it, click on OK. And now I should get six rows instead of 11 rows from my SQL table. Now I can load or transform data depending upon my requirements. In case I don't need to filter down my data, I can directly click on get data from database SQL server and just give my server name, which is this. Then giving a database name is optional. So you can proceed clicking by clicking on OK without even mentioning your database name. Now I can select any tables like say sales table and click on load to load the entire data set without filtering it down. See it's that easy to build connection with SQL Server in Excel. And as you see now the data is loading. The data from SQL is loaded in table format. Thus it is that easy to get started with getting data from SQL. I hope this video is useful to guys. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.